Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. We've done exponential equations before, but this is the first time we're doing an exponential system. So we have x to the power y is equal to y to the power x and x to the power m is equal to y to the power n. So there are some restrictions here. First of all, let me tell you that m and n are given numbers or you can call them parameters. So basically we're going to solve for x and y and the answer is going to be in terms of m and n. And m and n are both different from 0, and they're also different from each other. m and n should not be equal in this case. Okay, so how do you go about solving this type of equation? So here's what I'm going to do. Since none of them is equal to 0, I can basically do the following. I can just raise both sides here, for example, take the second equation, and raise both sides to the power of 1 over n, right? And what that does is... Basically, that isolates the y on the right-hand side so that we can write one of the variables in terms of the other. So this should give us y equals x to the power. And of course, we have the power of a power rule where we multiply m times 1 over n, which gives us m over n. So this allows us to write y in terms of x, which is cool because now we can go ahead and use that in our first equation. And what happens if we do? Let's go ahead and replace y with this. So we're going to get something like x to the power y, and I'm going to replace y with x to the power m over n. Just bear with me uh, when I work with exponents here. And y will be replaced with x to the power m over n, but then we erase it to the power x. So let's use parentheses here. In the first one, we didn't use parentheses because whenever you see an expression like a to the power b to the power c, this is not what we're talking about. We're not talking about a to the power b quantity to the power c because that is equal to a to the power bc. So if we wanted to write it that way, we could just write a to the power bc. But rather, this means that it's a to the power b to the power c where b to the power c is in parentheses. But a lot of times parentheses are uh, not written. And again, there's a huge discussion. Some people say that this is ambiguous, so on and so forth. But we're going to take it that way. So... What do I have here? And of course, I should also say something like, you know, certain values, x equals 1, x equals 0, so on and so forth. You know, I, I should probably say something like, how about under certain conditions, we're going to solve for this system. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the m over n by x. So this should give me x to the power x to the power m over n is equal to x to the power m over n times x. Now, at this point, obviously, if x is equal to 1, this is always going to be true. If x is equal to 0, that's kind of problematic. So we kind of have to exclude those. But we're, we're more looking for like a general solution that doesn't necessarily, um, you know, include those special cases all the time, but more like a general approach. So what's my goal here to solve for x and y, right? So what can I do? Since I have the same basis, I can say that, well, if the expressions are equal, then the exponents also have to be equal. So from here, we get the following result. We get x to the power m over n equals m over n times x. And again, under certain conditions, this is going to be true. Now, how does that work? Well, I can just go ahead and, you know, divide both sides by x to isolate all the x terms on the left-hand side. And if I do, basically, I'm dividing by x. So that's just going to decrease the exponent by 1 because x is x to the power 1, and we're going to have our constant, because we kind of treat them as constants, uh, on the right-hand side. So at this point, we're almost done, but let's go ahead and simplify the left-hand side a little bit more, so by making a common denominator in the exponents, so that should look like x to the power m minus n over n, and again, this is why we have to specify that n doesn't equal 0, m doesn't equal 0, and they're not equal. Okay, now at this point, what I can do is I can basically, since I'm trying to solve for x, it would make sense if I raise both sides to some power, right? And what would that be? Well, I would just raise both sides to the power something so that I can get an x, and that will be the reciprocal of the exponent, which is n over m minus n, because the product is 1, so it's going to give me x. And of course, I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side as well. Okay, so then from here, I'm basically getting x is equal to m over n to the power n over m minus n. Again, m and n are different, so m minus n is never 0, n is not 0, 
m is not zero, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's the x value. But I also want to solve for the y value. How do I do that? Well, we do know that y and x are related, right? By using this expression, I can basically relate x and y. So I can write y as x to the power m over n. And if I go ahead and substitute that here, how am I going to use that? Well, since I already have x, I can just write y as x to the power that. So this is m over n to the power n over m minus n. And when you raise it to the power m over n, the exponents are just going to be multiplied, canceling out the n, and we should be getting the y value from here. And that should equal m over n to the power m over m minus n. So, so that's going to be our solutions, basically. So if you we want to rewrite it in a nicer form, well, again, there is no really nicer form, but you, you could just repeat that. So x is going to equal m over n to the power n over m minus n, and the y is going to be m over n. Pretty much they have the same base, but their exponents are different. And the exponent here is going to be m over m minus n. Now, by substituting these values into the original equations, you can basically verify that this equation is going to, or the solutions are going to hold. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.